Pluto, once the ninth planet in our solar system, was suddenly demoted in 2006. Reclassified as a dwarf planet, it left us with more questions than answers. The International Astronomical Union, the governing body responsible for classifying celestial bodies, made this decision based on a new definition of what constitutes a planet. According to this definition, a planet not only orbits the Sun and is spherical, but it must also have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto, with its elliptical orbit and neighborhood cluttered with other objects in the Kuiper Belt, didn't make the cut. This decision was far from unanimous. It sparked a heated debate among astronomers worldwide. Some agreed with the reclassification, stating that it was necessary to keep the definition of a planet manageable. They pointed out that if Pluto continued to be considered a planet, then other similar-sized bodies in the Kuiper Belt should also be granted planetary status. This could potentially increase the number of planets in our solar system to hundreds. Others, however, disagreed, arguing that Pluto had been recognized as a planet for more than 70 years and that its reclassification was confusing and unnecessary. They contended that Pluto's unique characteristics, such as its complex system of moons, merited its status as a planet. This disagreement gave rise to a new classification, dwarf planet, a term that acknowledges Pluto's unique status while distinguishing it from the eight planets. The reclassification of Pluto not only altered our understanding of the solar system, but also piqued our curiosity about this distant world. What secrets does it hold? How is it different from the other planets? These questions prompted a closer look at Pluto and its neighbors in the Kuiper Belt, leading to new discoveries and insights about our universe. What mysteries does this dwarf planet hold? The answers lie in a journey to the outer reaches of our solar system. Beyond Neptune lies an intriguing region known as the Kuiper Belt, a treasure trove of clues about our early solar system. Imagine a ring of icy bodies, a frigid frontier stretching out across the farthest reaches of our celestial neighborhood. That's the Kuiper Belt for you. Located beyond Neptune's orbit, this vast region is home to countless celestial bodies composed largely of frozen volatiles, or ices, such as methane, ammonia, and water. These icy relics are remnants from the birth of our solar system over four billion years ago, virtually untouched by the heat and light of the sun. The Kuiper Belt is a cosmic time capsule, preserving the raw materials that helped to form the planets. It's like the solar system's attic, storing dusty old heirlooms that tell the story of our cosmic roots. Studying these objects can provide us with invaluable insights into the early solar system, helping us understand how our own planet and life itself came into existence. But exploring the Kuiper Belt is no walk in the park. It's located an astounding 3 billion miles away from Earth. To give you some perspective, that's over 30 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. This vast distance, coupled with the belt's sheer size, makes it a formidable challenge for space exploration. Not to mention, our knowledge about the Kuiper Belt is limited. Its icy inhabitants are small and dim, making them difficult to study from Earth. Our understanding of this region has been largely based on indirect observations and theoretical models until recently. With such daunting challenges, you might wonder, how can we ever hope to unravel the mysteries of the Kuiper Belt? Well, we humans are a curious lot. We're not easily deterred by the unknown. In fact, we're drawn to it. And so armed with our thirst for knowledge and the power of modern technology, we embarked on a groundbreaking mission. To unlock the secrets of the Kuiper Belt and its most famous resident, Pluto, we embarked on a groundbreaking mission. In 2006, the same year Pluto was demoted, NASA launched the New Horizons mission a journey of nearly a decade to the outer reaches of our solar system. New Horizons embarked on a journey of epic proportions, a journey that would take it to the very edge of our solar system. The mission was not without its challenges. To reach Pluto, New Horizons had to travel a staggering three billion miles, a distance so vast that it's difficult to truly comprehend. To facilitate this extraordinary journey, NASA employed groundbreaking technology. The spacecraft was equipped with a compact, lightweight design and an ultra-efficient propulsion system. It was powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a device that converts the heat from the natural decay of radioactive material into electricity. This reliable and long-lasting power source was essential for the mission's success, as solar panels would be ineffective at such a great distance from the sun. 
The spacecraft was also fitted with state-of-the-art scientific instruments designed to collect a wealth of data about Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. These included cameras for high-resolution imaging, spectrometers for analyzing the composition of Pluto's surface and atmosphere, and a dust counter to measure the microscopic particles in the Kuiper Belt. Even with the best technology at its disposal, New Horizons had to overcome a host of challenges. The sheer distance of the mission posed significant logistical issues. As the spacecraft ventured further from Earth, communication became increasingly difficult. Signals, traveling at the speed of light, took over four and a half hours to reach the spacecraft when it arrived at Pluto. This delay meant that real-time control of the mission was impossible, and the spacecraft had to be pre-programmed for its encounter with Pluto. The vast distance also meant that fuel efficiency was of the utmost importance. To conserve fuel, New Horizons was sent on a gravity assist trajectory, using the gravitational pull of Jupiter to slingshot the spacecraft towards Pluto. This maneuver, executed with precision, allowed New Horizons to reach speeds of over 52,000 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest man-made objects ever created. Despite these challenges, New Horizons proved to be a triumph of human ingenuity. It journeyed through the harsh and unforgiving void of space, braving temperatures of minus 240 degrees Fahrenheit and the constant threat of collision with cosmic debris. Yet, the mission was not just about reaching Pluto, it was about expanding our knowledge of the solar system, about pushing the boundaries of human curiosity and exploration. The data collected by New Horizons would help to answer fundamental questions about Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, shedding light on a region of space that had long been shrouded in mystery. The journey was also a testament to the power of collaboration and international cooperation. Scientists from all over the world contributed to the mission, sharing their expertise and knowledge to ensure its success. This global effort underscored the universal fascination with the cosmos, a fascination that transcends borders and unites us in our quest for understanding. Finally, after nearly a decade of travel, New Horizons reached its destination. In July 2015, the spacecraft made its closest approach to Pluto, capturing stunning images of the dwarf planet and its moons. These images beamed back to Earth over the course of several months, revealed a world of icy mountains, vast plains, and a complex atmosphere, but the mission didn't end there. New Horizons continued its journey, venturing deeper into the Kuiper Belt. It conducted a flyby of Arakoth, a small Kuiper Belt object, in 2019, providing further insights into this distant and enigmatic region of our solar system. After traveling more than 3 billion miles, New Horizons finally reached its destination in 2015, ready to shed light on Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. This historic journey to the edge of our solar system underlines our relentless pursuit of knowledge a pursuit that drives us to reach ever further into the cosmos. What New Horizons found when it reached Pluto was nothing short of spectacular. The New Horizons spacecraft, after a journey of more than nine years, finally arrived at Pluto in July of 2015. This encounter with the icy dwarf planet was the first of its kind, and the findings were astounding to say the least. One of the first revelations was the icy plains of Pluto, a colossal expanse of nitrogen ice known as Sputnik Planitia. Spanning over a thousand kilometers in width, this feature is one of the most significant on Pluto's surface. This vast icy plain is relatively smooth and young, with researchers estimating its age to be less than 10 million years. This suggests that Pluto is geologically active, a trait previously thought to be exclusive to larger planets. The planes are also covered in what researchers describe as cells or polygons, intriguing patterns that are likely caused by the slow thermal convection of the icy surface. This means that the ice beneath the surface is slowly churning in a cycle that can take millions of years to complete. Imagine a lava lamp, but instead of hot wax, it's icy nitrogen, and instead of minutes, it's millennia. In addition to the icy plains, New Horizons also discovered towering mountains on Pluto, some as high as the Rocky Mountains here on Earth. These mountains are made of water ice, which is as hard as rock in the frigid temperatures of Pluto. The presence of these mountains is another sign of Pluto's surprising geological activity. It's fascinating to think that on this small, distant world, there are mountains of ice that rival the size of our own terrestrial peaks. 
But one of the most intriguing discoveries made by New Horizons is the possibility of a subsurface ocean on Pluto. Beneath the icy surface, scientists believe there could be a layer of liquid water. This theory stems from the analysis of Pluto's orientation and its interaction with its moon, Karen. The data suggests that there's a significant mass in Pluto's interior, and the most likely candidate for this mass is a subsurface ocean of water potentially mixed with salts and ammonia. This discovery has significant implications, not just for Pluto, but for our understanding of the outer solar system. If there's an ocean on Pluto, it raises the possibility that other icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt could also harbor subsurface oceans, and where there's water, there's the potential for life. These findings have dramatically reshaped our understanding of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. Prior to the New Horizons mission, Pluto was often depicted as a simple, cold, and dead world. But what we've learned is that Pluto is far from dead. It's a complex and active world with a varied landscape and potentially even an ocean. The New Horizons mission has shown us that even in the farthest reaches of our solar system, there are worlds full of surprises waiting to be discovered. It's a reminder that there's so much more to learn about our cosmic neighborhood. But let's not forget, Pluto is just one object in the Kuiper Belt, a vast region that's home to potentially hundreds of thousands of icy bodies. Each one of these bodies holds clues about the early solar system. The more we learn about these distant worlds, the more we can understand about our own planet's history and the history of our solar system. These discoveries were just the beginning. The importance of studying the Kuiper Belt extends far beyond Pluto. The New Horizons mission has opened a new door to the outer solar system, a door that leads to countless possibilities for exploration and discovery. As we continue to study the Kuiper Belt, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover? We've only just started to scratch the surface of what the Kuiper Belt has to offer. With future missions and advanced technology, we'll be able to delve deeper into this mysterious region and unravel more of its secrets. It's an exciting time for space exploration and we can't wait to see what we'll discover next. So, as we look to the stars and dream of the possibilities, let's remember the words of the great Carl Sagan. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. And with that, we wrap up our journey to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. But remember, this is just one chapter in the grand story of our universe. There are countless more stories out there waiting to be told. And who knows, maybe the next one will be even more surprising than Pluto. These discoveries were just the beginning. The importance of studying the Kuiper Belt extends far beyond Pluto. The Kuiper Belt, a cosmic junkyard of sorts, holds vital clues about the early solar system and the formation of planets. Just like time capsules capture a snapshot of a particular moment in our human history, the Kuiper Belt does the same for our solar system's history. This vast frontier extending from the orbit of Neptune to far beyond is filled with remnants from the solar system's early days over four and a half billion years ago. Why is this important? To understand our present and future, we need to understand our past. The same principle applies when studying the cosmos. The Kuiper Belt, with its myriad of icy bodies, dwarf planets, and comets, holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of how our solar system evolved. In this frozen repository, we find objects that have been essentially unchanged since their formation. They are like the fossils of our cosmic past. Studying them provides insights into the materials, conditions, and processes during the epoch of planet formation. This, in turn, helps scientists refine their models and theories about the birth and evolution of our solar system. So, what have we learned so far? New Horizons' journey to Pluto and beyond has already yielded a treasure trove of information. The mission revealed Pluto's diverse landscape of mountains, plains, and glaciers, suggesting a complex geological history. It also hinted at the possibility of a subsurface ocean on Pluto, which opens up exciting prospects about the potential for life in such extreme environments. But let's not forget about the Kuiper Belt itself. New Horizons Encounter with Arakoth, a Kuiper Belt object, has provided the most detailed look yet at one of these primordial bodies. The mission's findings suggest that Arakoth, and by extension, other Kuiper Belt objects, form through a gentle accumulation of material in the early solar system. 
This gives us a new perspective on the building blocks of planets. Moreover, the Kuiper Belt is also the source of some short-period comets, those that orbit the Sun in less than 200 years. Comets are of particular interest because they carry water and organic compounds, the necessary ingredients for life as we know it. Understanding the composition and properties of these comets can provide clues about the origins of water and possibly life on Earth. Now, looking towards the future, the exploration of the Kuiper Belt is far from over. The vastness and diversity of this region present enormous opportunities for further scientific exploration. Future missions could focus on studying more Kuiper Belt objects, investigating the properties of comets, or even searching for more dwarf planets. Who knows, we might even find another Pluto out there. But exploring the Kuiper Belt is not an easy task. It requires advanced technology, significant resources, and a lot of time. The distance is so vast that it takes light from the sun more than four hours to reach the outer edges of the Kuiper Belt. Any future mission to this region will be a long-term commitment, but one that promises to yield significant rewards. The exploration of the Kuiper Belt is a journey of discovery and understanding. It's about uncovering the secrets of our past, making sense of our present, and paving the way for our future explorations. It's about understanding our place in the cosmos. As we continue to explore the Kuiper Belt, we are not just discovering new worlds, we are uncovering the history of our own. Our journey to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt has only just begun, and there is still much to explore and discover. We've journeyed from the reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006, which spurred many questions about its nature, to the introduction of the mysterious Kuiper Belt, a region of immense significance in our solar system. We've also delved into the challenges of exploring this vast region and the limited knowledge we possess about it. We've walked through the incredible New Horizons mission that unveiled breathtaking images and data, highlighting key discoveries like the icy plains, mountains, and a potential subsurface ocean on Pluto. The importance of studying the Kuiper Belt for understanding the early solar system can't be overstated, and it teases the potential for future missions to this intriguing region. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. If there's a topic you'd like us to explore next, drop a comment below. Until next time, keep looking up.